You know, these borders, and I also mentioned to my brother, these borders that you create silos for yourselves amongst, you must always remember, are not your creation. These were creations of people outside of this continent who made these borders not to develop you, but to extract from you. Uhuru Kenyatta is a Kenyan politician who served as the fourth president of Kenya from 2013 to 2022. There is an old video of him circulating online, which I find it very interesting. I want us to watch this video. I will be back. You are not competitors. And I think the big mistake we have made is by making each other competitors. We are not competing. We have yet to satisfy our respective markets. Our problem is that we are not working closer together to meet the demands that our people have. And as I was telling another gathering, you know, these borders, and I also mentioned to my brother, these borders that you create silos for yourselves amongst, you must always remember, are not your creation. These were creations of people outside of this continent who made these borders not to develop you, but to extract from you. Now that you want to develop yourself, we must start looking at these borders and we must start removing the barriers that we have put, that have defined and de defined us in the past, and now hinder us from being the giant that we should be. I was telling my brother this morning the ridiculousness of our borders, that we in Kenya have a border demarcated with, on one side with Tanzania, where the people who live on the border are the Maasai community. They were a nation once upon a time. Now today, they are Kenyans, they are Tanzanians, and yet they are relatives, but they live on two sides of a border. This is not proper. I was telling him of another example. To our west, Lake Victoria, where again another boundary was drawn between Kenya and Uganda. And where at one particular moment in time, between 2005 and 2007, we had two brothers. Same father, same mother. Those who come from polygamous families know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but this particular one, the same father, same mother. But because their land was stretched across between Kenya and Uganda, one brother inherited land on the Ugandan side, the other brother inherited land on the Kenyan side. And between 2005 and 2007, we had one brother as the vice president of Kenya and the other brother as the minister in charge of the presidency in Uganda. <laughs> now, I don't know whether you can find a much more ridiculous situation to explain <laughs> the kind of position some of us find ourselves in. So these borders were not made for us. If we are going to become manufacturing giants, we need to do away with these borders. We need to see the African market as one. We need to be able to develop giants like Airbus that makes components in the United Kingdom, that makes components in France and in other parts of Europe, but has become a global conglomerate. They didn't come together because they loved each other. We all know how they hate each other, we know. Yeah? But they've come together to survive. Africa must come together for us to survive. <laughs> survive and indeed prosper. I wish you all the very best. I am very excited that my brother has pushed this agenda of 
Kenya Airways and South African Airlines, and I am very hopeful that in the very near future, I shall be one of the first customers on a Pan-African flight that is owned <laughs> by Africa and run by Africans. There's a story that says it's better to own a small piece of a big thing than a big piece of nothing. So I'm looking forward to our small piece in a big Pan-African airline. Thank you very much. Yep, so I like one quote which he said, Africa must come together to survive. Africa must come together to survive. That is the whole thing. You know, uh, for some few days now, I've been doing content about people trumpeting the ideology of how Africa should remove the border between us if we really want to unite. If we really want to unite Africa must remove the border among us because it is restricting development. It is restricting us to develop. These days, Africans normally does business with European countries than doing business among ourselves. But in the same continent, we are in the same continent. What we should know that the borders which we find between us was created by Europeans in 1885. European countries sat around in Berlin and decided to create border and divide us for their survival. Because they were sharing African countries among themselves. This British said, I want Nigeria, Ghana, this, this, this. So they created border borders among us for their own survival, for their own resources, for exploitation. So those who are now calling for African countries to remove the border so that we can do, uh, we can trade among ourselves or do business among ourselves is a call in the right direction. For a few months now, many African leaders have been calling for the removal of the borders. But who is going to take action? Who is going to take action? We have talked enough. We have educated people enough. Now people understand the importance of us removing the borders among us for us to collaborate among ourselves. The man says something, Mr. Uhuru Kenyatta says something that Africa, we are not competitors. We shouldn't be competitors. We shouldn't be fighting for who country is the best economy, who country is doing well. That is where the problems comes in. That is where we are lacking development. Because when you go to the United States, they are a bunch of states that have come together economically. When it goes to European, Europe, Europe, European Union has also done that, even though they have their separate uh, countries, they still, when it comes to trade, they do everything together. They have one currency, which is the euros. And that is what is making them become strong when it comes to economy, their economy. 
It is making them to become very strong worldwide. So please, this call, we don't know who can trigger the action. But it's time Africa starts that process of the togetherness or the unity of Africa. Because if we unite as Africans, we are going to achieve a lot in this, in this continent. It's very necessary. Please, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification button so that anytime I upload any great content, you will be notified. Thanks for watching.